Hello, so uh, today we'll be talking about the so-called Riemann Zeta function and its fascinating um, relationship with the uh, natural numbers. So you know the Riemann Zeta function is represented by the uh, Greek letter Zeta which in my opinion is like one of the hardest uh, Greek letters to write, you know, they're, they're like, if you look at the way it's written in books, the, the, the script is very nice and all, and, you know, I can't really reproduce it. Sometimes it, beca it becomes um, the Greek letter um, uh, XI, and sometimes some other Greek letter. But anyway, the Riemann Zeta function is basically a series uh, involving the natural numbers that are found in the denominator and then raised by a, a certain number s so one plus one half uh, to the s plus one over three to the s plus one over four to the s and so on okay and if you use the summation notation you can write this as summation from k equals one to infinity of one over k to the s okay where k is all the natural numbers and of course s can take any values in the complex plane except of course for s equals one because when s is equal to one obviously this will become a harmonic series which everyone knows is um, divergent okay and so the thing that we're going to look uh, at this function is that in um, 1737 okay Euler showed the following very fascinating result, okay? And he showed that the zeta function, okay, you can write it in terms of the prime numbers. And the fascinating um, uh, equation looks like this. So the product, okay, from n equals 1. So this is the summation notation. This is like the product notation, you can call it. Okay, so the product of 1 minus 1 over p sub n to the s and then you take the reciprocal this one is actually equal to the Riemann zeta function okay and so the pn's right here this is very important because these are the primes right so p sub 1 is the first prime which is 2 p sub 2 is the second prime which is 3 and so on okay and it, this shows a very intimate relationship between Riemann zeta function and the uh, prime numbers and read the Riemann zeta function being the sum of the inverse powers of um, natural numbers in turn it shows us a very fascinating relationship between the natural numbers and the primes okay and one of the most important thing about the Riemann zeta function is actually related to one of the most important open problem in mathematics which asks for uh, the zeros of the uh, this function when it is uh, zero okay and since this is relating to primes you know some people are really pursuing uh, all the hidden mysteries behind primes so as to unlock the uh, Riemann hypothesis okay so this one this explicitly tells us okay if you want to expand it using the definition of the Riemann zeta this tells us that the sum of the inverse powers of the natural numbers okay right is equivalent to i'll take the product of one minus one over the first prime to the s which is two i multiply it by one minus one over the second prime which is three to the s i multiply that with the third prime one over one over five to the s and so on and then i take the reciprocal they should be equal okay and the proof of this is very, um, you know, Euler showed this, showed this in the 1700s, but the proof is not that, you know, hard, okay? So to, to show the proof of this one, we rewrite this. Since this is a reciprocal, we transfer it on the other side, okay? So therefore, we can write it as the Riemann zeta function multiplied by that uh, product of, infinite product of the expression for uh, primes, all right? You put it on the left hand side that should be equal to one okay so let's uh, let's set up on proving this one so to prove that let's consider okay let's consider uh, the following uh, Riemann Zeta of s instead of multiplying it with all the uh, 1 minus 1 over uh, all the primes uh, to the s you multiply all of them right 
let's begin by multiplying it first with the first prime. In this case, a one or a two. Okay, so zeta function multiplied by one minus one over two to the s. So this will be the Riemann uh, zeta function, right? So this uh, series right here, and so on, multiplied by one minus one over two to the s. Okay, of course. You have a 1 here, you multiply the whole term, so that will give you 1 plus 1 half s plus 1 third s plus 1 over 4 to the s, and so on, minus the whole thing multiplied by a negative 1 over uh, 2 to the s. So that will give you 1 over 2 to the s plus this times this is 1 over 4 to the s plus this times this is 1 over 6 to the s, and so on. And you'll see that after you subtract, this term will be, will be um, cancelled by this term. This term will be cancelled by this term. And in fact, all the denominators here involving even numbers will be cancelled by everything here because the denominators here are all even, right? So therefore, what remains is 1 plus 1 over 3 to the s plus 1 over 5 to the s plus 1 over 7 to the s plus 1 over 9 to the s and so on so all even ah sorry add numbers now in the denominator okay so now next we multiply it by we multiply uh, the zeta which we first multiplied by one half to the s now let's multiply it by the next prime which is 3 so 1 minus 1 over 3 to the s we multiply it by this expression so we know that this one is this whole thing okay the summation now involving uh, add numbers in the denominator so basically you have 1 plus 1 over 3 to the s plus 1 over 5 to the s plus 1 over 7 to the s plus 1 over 9 to the s and so on we multiply that by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the s so what does that give us that gives us so this is 1 so let's just copy this whole thing 1 plus 1 over 3 to the s plus 1 over 5 to the s plus 1 over 7 to the s plus 1 over 9 to the s and so on minus 1 third multiplied by all of them so that's 1 third to the s uh, plus 1 third to the s times 1 over 3 to the s is 1 over 9 to the s plus 1 over 15 to the s and so on and again this time all the factors of 3 1 over uh, 1 to the 3s will be cancelled by 1 over 3 to the s. 1 over 9 to the s will be cancelled by this term and so on. So now all factors of 3 will be cancelled. So what remains here are all the factors of 3 are gone after multiplying it by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the s. Okay, so you will have 1 plus 1 over 5 to the s plus 1 over 7 to the s plus 1 over 11 to the s and so on. So of course, the next uh, jobs, uh, the next, the next uh, step should be clear. You now multiply this whole thing by 1 minus 1 over 5 to the s, 5 being the third prime. What does that do? It will cancel all the remaining factors of 5 here in the denominator. Next, you multiply it by 1 minus 1 over 3 to the s, uh, sorry, 7 to the s, the fourth prime. It will cancel all the uh, factors of 7 in the denominator here and so on until you reach uh, to the point where you have multiplied okay you have multiplied all the uh, expression 1 minus 1 over p to the n uh, to the s where p to the n you now multiplied all the existing primes okay after doing that all the factors here will be cancelled and it will give you uh, the remaining term will be 1, okay? And of course, if you rewrite that, that gives us the uh, very famous um, expression uh, proven by Euler in the 1700s. And again, I find this so fascinating simply because, you know, um, it tells us that um, there are a lot of things that we still don't know about primes, but, you know, this expression, it would seem that those th secrets that we want to unlock about the primes is hidden in the Riemann zeta functions, which, which is a summation involving natural numbers. This is a product involving primes. So that's very cool, you know. All the things that you want to know about the prime, it's as if it's hidden in the summation of the um, natural numbers raised to some power s. So that's why 
if the Riemann uh, hypothesis uh, will be proven, it will be shown to be true, since it is closely um, related to the prime numbers, it will give us a lot more information about the primes. Okay, so I hope you learned um, something today. So we just proven this um, relationship uh, between the Riemann zeta function and the uh, 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 primes. Okay, so hope to see you again next time and thanks for watching.